building for some 30 years, and it's the longest home we've ever had. The angels, as you know, will be 55 next year. So for 30 years, we spent time in this building. I'm the oldest living director that they have, so they asked me to say a few words. <laughs> but I just think it's, it, it's so great that we're able to move on. I, I recall when we were in the fire training academy on Lake Sun. And this was the, where they housed the fire trucks. They used to set up chairs for us, and we would rehearse in the fire training academy before we moved here. We've been able to use most of this building. We've been able to use the auditorium. The auditorium that they have here is one of the finest acoustical halls in the city of Cleveland. It's better than Severance as it relates to vocal music. Now, it's not in good shape, and the chairs are not good, and the lighting is not they just finished, that's why they're kicking over? I know, I know. <laughs> but we got, we, we got to sing in that auditorium. We got to have, we got to have a floor to ourselves where we had two rehearsal rooms, offices, everything that we had. It's a little bit raw today because they've not kept, kept it up, but we've done well. We live here long. We live here with a very healthy growth in the angels. So I just want to bless all of you for being here. Some of you have been here for 30, no, some of you have been here for 16 years or 12 years, whatever. Some of you have been here for just this year. It's a great opportunity for this organization. We have to say goodbye, we're moving on, but that has never stopped us before. We look forward to seeing you uh, at the, I forgot the name of it. Singing Angel Studios. Singing Angel Studios. <laughs> So keep singing. Promise? Yes. Love to all. Thank you.
if, depending upon what era you were in Singing Angels, you either know Mark Deroni, or you know his nephew, Gerard Masala. Our new building is in the Old Brooklyn neighborhood at 4650 State Road. It is connected to, it's right across the street from St. Mary Byzantine Church. And when, when we do the Christmas concerts, Angels at St. Mary Byzantine, that parking lot that's right across the street that we park in, there are two buildings right there. One of them is a party center, and the building right near State Road on the street is a three-story, freestanding building that has not been used for quite some time. It used to be a preschool, a nursery school, a preschool. As a matter of fact, Justin went there to preschool. Thank you. And, um, Gerard's mom, or Mark Deroni's sister, is the principal of that St. Mary Byzantine school. They are actually, they are actually leasing that the floors in that building to us. And how wonderful it is, it is that we're actually getting to call it the Singing Angel Studios and name our own building. So that's definitely an unwritten and upright type of thing. Now, so let's say you come to a Christmas concert and we're near the end of the Christmas concert and the alumni have to come up on stage to sing. This is good practice for tomorrow. Alumni, I don't think the choreography has changed, but I'm here to tell you that the vocal lines for We Wish You the Marius have changed about a dozen times over the years. We now, we now sing it the way that is on the recording from 40 or 45 years ago. Because one year, about a decade ago, we had to lip sync it outside for Winterfest, and the basses went to mouth May your tree be filled with happiness, and first soprano voices came out of the recording. So now, we do it the way that it's on the recording. And that's, that, that we can all agree on that. So we'll do a quick We Wish the Marys.
she's going to lead us through the Alleluia Chorus. shows up for her rehearsal for a woman on Monday night. <laughs> but anyways, um, I hear you guys, and it's beautiful. I forgot what I was going to say. Um, and as all the time we've spent here, we forget as teachers, as coaches, as trainers, to say some things, and I forgot through the years I didn't say it. So today I'm going to say it. You're not good. You're not above average. You're not excellent. You're superior. You are. And don't let anyone ever try to tell you. When I say you, I mean us. Because every day, I am still living singing angels. I wake up in the morning at quarter to five to work out. And I go down to my phone, and there may be a text there. Every morning, there is a text from somebody. Usually Lisa Kranz, or Anne-Marie Turpac, or um, I can't think of who else, but Todd, it could be Todd sometimes, to tell me something. But every day I'm getting a text from an alum, or something from Singing Angels that is just reliving to uh, Dennis and take some things we were liking about. We run in, you never know where you're going to run into someone. But as I said, you're not good. You're not above average. You're not excellent. You're superior. The sounds are beautiful. What you're learning here is not music. It's not music, you're learning many different things, social, emotional learning, um, everything. And it's and it stays with you forever. The friendship stay with you forever. So before I do the Halloween quotes, two more things I've got to say. I went out of my head again. <laughs> the last the last thing, okay, that I want to say is that when we sing, I don't want to worry about is it the altos? And I know exactly what Charles was saying. Twice you go down, and the third time you go up. I know that. I've been listening to the Hallelujah Chorus all weekend, trying to think, and I thought, no, throw it out. I read up on it. It said Handel, when he composed it, it was for simplicity. And that's what I want to do now. I want to to just enjoy it when we sing. I think you're terrific. And it is an honor and a privilege for me to be up here today. Thank you.
would it not, as ever existed, if it weren't for Mr. Bill Day. And he came with us to this building. He spent many good years with us in this building. And we can't have a celebration of anything that has to do with singing angels without mentioning him and remembering him. This next, thank you. So he deserves a big round of applause. last piece we're going to sing not only about our memories here in this building, but in honor of Mr. Bay. Okay? And I just want to end with us all singing about the BP Summer. Oh.